start off today by saying thank you and God bless you to Georgia. Georgia, y'all are the boss. Good Friday morning, y'all. Guys, I can't do it. I said Friday is going to be the weekly report. I'm not good at the news, man. I'm no good at it. You know, I can read it and have a basic understanding of what's going on. I mean, I know what's going on, but man, I can't remember the names and the office that they hold and numbers and I, I can't do it, guys. If you want a news guy, I'm not the one for you. <laughs> I'd hate to lose subscribers over that, but I'm just being genuine and honest. I'm not a news guy. I've spent the last two hours going over the news. And I mean, like, okay, the Georgia thing. You know, it's awesome. It's awesome what the governor... Don't ask me his name, I don't know. But, you know, he beefed up their voting laws. And it's pissed a lot of people off. A lot of people. Um, the MLB, Major League Baseball, they pulled the All-Star game from Atlanta because of this in July. And moved it to Colorado. Wah. Who cares? Baseball is like the world's boringest sport. Boringest. That's a word, right? Or most boring. Anyway, next to tennis and watching paint dry, baseball is like right there on the level of entertainment. For me. Okay. I'm sure there's baseball fans in here. That's fine. You know, more power to you. Me, I'm a football guy. I love football. And wrestling. The fakest sport in the world. <laughs> eh, not all fake, but you know, they do get hurt. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But move your baseball. Who cares? You know. Now, they did go on to, you know, he apologized, did not apologize, but he said, you know, he hated to see that happen. I mean, it's going to cost them, I think they estimated up to $100 million in revenue for that one baseball game. But, you know, he wants to ensure voter, you know, security. He wants, you know, identification for mail-in ballots and for voting, period. Um, less, fewer drop boxes. Um, appointed people to deliver food and drinks to people waiting in the lines, people running the polls. You know, they, they just want to cut out any chance of voter fraud. He wants to, you know, bring back faith into our way of voting, our way of life. You know, and it's rumored that Texas is right behind him. Texas is reforming a lot of their voting laws. And, you know, they're already calling, uh, Georgia's already expecting a lot more boycotts in the state because of this. And, you know, and even it's right down to our presidential administration's threatening them, you know? Like, basically saying you will be awoken or you're going to be cut off. Kid, Georgia is awake. Georgia knows what's going on. <laughs> Georgia done what a lot lot more states need to do okay now what does that mean for us preppers I mean Georgia not now if, if you're in Georgia it could mean a whole new ball game you know like if Biden wants to threaten you know cutting Georgia off and you know stuff like that you know you might see a, a localized um, frenzy you know, you might want to go out and definitely, you know, keep prepping, of course. But, you know, you might want to pay real close attention because y'all will see stuff that we ain't going to see out here. You know, if if people hang with this and do decide to boycott Georgia, you know, there's no ends to what that could bring. You know, you could have suppliers boycotting Georgia. You could have... You know, 
whatever retailers pull their businesses out of Georgia. You know, it it could go that far, especially with the president backing these boycotts. You know, I'm not saying uh, backing. Really, I shouldn't say backing. But, you know, if he's up there, the administration is threatening Georgia, then anybody else that has affiliation with Georgia knows they can pretty well do what they want. And there's not going to be any, you know, legal loopholes or legal um, consequences, if you will. You know, they know that. I mean, if your commander-in-chief is, you know, basically boycotting a state as well, you know, so the local folks in Georgia, you know, that might be a whole new ball game for you guys prepping. So, I mean, you... I'm not telling you it will, but, you know, adding, if there's some stuff that you're a little shy on or stuff you're kind of lacking in, it might be a good time to go get it. You know, don't hold me to my word. You know, you can read all the news articles yourself. Like I said, I'm not a news guy, but I did read this, and I watched a couple videos on it. And he's pissed off a lot of folks by doing this. So, I mean, it's possible. You guys could have a localized bug out situation, you know, or SHTF situation. You know, it's very possible. Um, you know, I, I, I never really thought about it until I started talking on this video that, you know, you folks in Georgia, which I don't think I really have. I've never talked to anyone in the chat from Georgia that I know of. But I'm sure there's got to be a couple, right? <laughs> Not that I have a lot of subscribers, but there's got to be one, surely. But, um, you know, you might really want to pay attention to your local stores and your local news, especially because, you know, especially if things started getting boycotted, you know, we might not necessarily get word of what's happening close to you. And that's the way with any of y'all, you know, any of your states, you know, like Texas is following suit, you know, Texas... Texas rides the fence anyway. I mean, they've always been known as those people. Um, and God bless Texas. <laughs> you know, great state. But, you know, if... If they follow suit and people start boycotting Texas, now that's going to that's gonna affect a lot of us. You know, I'm not sure what all is imported and exported from Georgia, you know, for that we use here locally, but Texas, I mean, you're talking about fruits and beef and chickens and eggs. I mean, it could be a, that could be a big deal. And maybe, maybe this, you know, people rewriting their voting laws and people boycotting, that might be what leads to our SHTF, you know, that we've been prepping for. Who knows? You know, we're all waiting for World War Three or Civil War, or it could be simple as, States getting boycotted, you know, like kind of shutting them out of the union or something, you know. Like I said, I'll say it again. This is all my opinion. I've told y'all several times I'm not a news guy, and this is why, you know, because I, I maybe I think too deeply, you know, maybe that's a conspiracy theorist in me, you know. I, I don't know, but it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> but... I think it's awesome. I do. If they just stick to their guns, you know, and just to hold solid with their decisions, don't get bullied or don't let the threat of boycotts and everything. Governor, sir, stand your ground. That's where I'm going to end that. <laughs> Okay, y'all got to give me till Saturday night, 7 o'clock, okay? I'm going to read and study up on as much about Russia, the Ukraine, all that stuff, and we can talk about it Saturday night, okay? Like I said, I've really distanced myself from the news. I've been focusing, you know, what we're here for like prepping, homesteading, 
stuff like that and just getting away from the news if you're one of those people that are addicted to the news cut it off you'll be a lot happier and healthier up here okay since I've I mean you can ask Mandy I was sick <laughs> like I was obsessed with the news and I it took me way too long to figure out you know the left and right neither one of them tells the truth okay you know the Democrat side we could see with our own eyes we've seen what was happening there the Republican side made it ten times as bad via media okay like yeah stuff's bad stuff was bad months ago but instead of using my best judgment I got wrapped up in the news you know and I was becoming that person like you know my wife would go to get a can of spaghetti sauce out of our preps and I'd be like no no we can't do that you know she's like it's gonna go out of date soon we can buy more I'll just replace it but what if you don't get to the store before you know and that was me I was getting I was losing my marbles guys <laughs> so I really laid off the news for a while and I still have laid off the news but you know it is what it is I just like I said I feel a lot healthier upstairs not watching the news as much and I'm the guy that's always said, you know, you got to know what's going on in the world to be a good prepper. You do. But you don't have to get consumed with it. You know, we all know it's bad. It don't matter what's bad where. Um, I mean, it does. Okay, I take that back. It does matter where if you're there. You know what I mean? Like, like I was saying, you know. If they completely boycott a state and basically cut off all things going in and out of that state, you know, yeah, that's that's going to be a localized SHTF situation. You know, all other 48 states are running just fine. And here you got two that's just totally like exiled to themselves, you know. And they'll make it for a little bit, but they're going to run out of stuff. And, you know, that's when it's going to hit the fan. Localized. Wouldn't that... I can't even... Can you imagine that? You know, knowing that just a couple hundred miles away, everything's running like it always has. But in your state, you're like living like Mad Max. Wouldn't that... That'd be weird. But it could happen. I mean, it could totally happen. You know, like I said, people start boycotting the states. Stop delivering or picking up, you know. I mean, it could happen. Weirder things have happened this last year. But, uh... Some top stories of the week, huh? <laughs> but, you guys know how I am by now. My intentions were good. I really wanted to do a weekly report. But I just can't, guys. I'm not that guy. I'm not... You know, John over at Prepper Nation, Jason, the Angry Prepper, um, the Alaskan Prepper, Prepper Nurse One, awesome, awesome news guys, okay? They're the guys to watch for that, you know? I'm the guy to watch, you know, like, you want to learn how to fish, you want to learn how to hunt, learn how to grow some vegetables, grow food. You know, which I'm not an expert at that. I've always been able to grow food, but like this year, I'm getting real serious about it. And thanks to Sean, Green Thumb Prepper, I've learned a lot and I've been reading a lot, so I'm getting better at it. But you know, I can show you what I know there. You know, I can, between me and Mandy, we can show you how to prep on a dime, okay? Get as much as you can for your dollar. Um, I'm the guy that can tell you what to prep, how much to prep, all of it. <laughs> you know, I, you know, stuff like that. I'm your guy. You know, you want to learn how to build a table? I'm your guy. You want to learn how to put a new floor in your house? I'm your guy. You know, 
want to learn how to play guitar i'm your guy <laughs> but as far as news guys i'm not it and i apologize i hope you don't think any less of me you know i hope you don't stop watching i mean surely you wouldn't or you would have already because you guys know i'm just not i'm not political i'm not a news source i never will be but like i said saturday night i'll try to you know beef up my knowledge a little bit on the ukraine russia china taiwan um situations so i can you know at least act like i know what's going on <laughs> but uh anyway guys i think that's really all i gotta squawk about tonight pretty excited tomorrow my back my back's feeling really really good tonight thank you guys again for all your prayers um anybody that was in the live stream tonight for therapy thursday remember all those folks in your prayers tonight um hopefully i'm gonna get a lot of stuff done tomorrow evening and this weekend like i said regardless of the weather i got plenty to do indoors and outdoors so don't forget live from the bears den saturday night 7 p.m eastern standard time um just open discussion whatever y'all want to talk about we got from seven to nine to do it so this time i won't cut it short because my back hurts <laughs> we'll be there the whole two hours but uh until saturday night y'all god bless you I love each and every one of y'all. Papa Prepper out.